you're, you're, you're supposed to keep us safe, and the American people Senator deserve some straight answers on the coronavirus. And Senator, I'm not I getting them from you. Thank you, uh, Madam Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. How many cases of coronavirus do we have right now in the United States? Well, we have uh, 14 cases plus an additional, um, I believe it's 20 or 30 some odd cases that we uh, have uh, repatriated back into the U.S. from uh, a number of cruise ships. And how many are you anticipating? Again, uh, we're working with HHS uh, to, to determine that. How many are you anticipating? We do anticipate the number will grow. I don't, I don't have an exact figure for you, though. What's the mortality rate so far nationwide I, I believe it's worldwide? Worldwide, I believe it's under 2%. How much under 2 percent? I'll get you an exact figure. I'll, I'll check with CDC on they're monitoring uh, the worldwide mortality rate and I will I can get that for you. But you don't know the mortality rate today. It, it changes daily, Senator. OK, what's the mortality rate for influenza over the last, say, 10 years in America? Uh, it's also uh, right around that percentage as well. I don't have that offhand, but it's uh, sure right around 2 percent as well. You sure of that? It's a little bit. Yes, sir. OK. Do we have enough respirators? To my knowledge, we do. I'm, well, we just I, heard testimony that we don't. Testimony from? In a briefing. OK. So your head of Homeland for, Security. For medical professionals or for, for sorry, I don't understand the question. head of Homeland Security, do we have enough respirators or not? For patients, I, I don't understand the question. For everybody, every American who needs one who gets the disease. Uh, again, I would refer you to HHS on that. Mr. Secretary, my you're, budget you're, supports, you're, you're supposed to keep us safe. My budget supports the men and women you're of the, the Department Secretary of Homeland Security. You're the Secretary of Homeland Security. Yes, sir. And you can't tell me if we have enough respirators. Do equipment. we have enough face masks? We, uh, for the Department of Homeland Security, we I'm do. I'm not asking for the Department of Homeland Security. Are you looking? I'm asking for the American people. For the, for the entire American public? Yes. No, I would say probably not. Okay, how short are we? I, I don't have that number offhand, Senator. I will get that for you. How far away are we from getting a vaccine? In uh, several months. Well, that's not what we just heard testimony about. Okay. Who's on first here? HHS is What's the federal second? agency for the coronavirus response. You, you're telling me we're months away from having a vaccine. That's your testimony as, Chair, as Secretary of Homeland Security. What I have been told by HHS and CDC, yes. And you, have you probed that to make sure that's accurate? Yes. We continue uh, every day. We have task force meetings with those individuals and elsewhere talking about a number of these Well, issues. your numbers aren't the same as CDC's. Then I would, I would certainly defer to CDC on our medical questions. Well, don't you think you ought to contact them and find out whether you're right or we're they're in, right? We're in contact with them every day on, this t on our task force. But you don't know why you have a them. discrepancy. I would refer you to the CDC Mr. on specific questions. Mr. Secretary, questions. I'm going to hush here. You're, you're, you're supposed to keep us safe, and the American people Senator, deserve some straight answers on the coronavirus. And Senator, I'm not I, getting them from you. I, I disagree. That's all I have, Madam Chair. 